Have you ever wondered what to write in your Instagram bio or your Twitter bio or your Facebook about section or on the front page of your website, that introductory line? Have you ever wondered? If so, then you might want to stick around because that is exactly what we are talking about in today's episode. Establishing your online presence is one of the very first steps that you need to uh, consider. Even if you've uh, taken off in a uh, different direction, uh, when you're wanting to come back and create a bigger impact in the digital social media space, then one of the first things that you have to revisit is your online presence. And in that online presence rebuilding, uh, one of the first things you need to look at is your introductory line. Your uh, first two sentences that you either say or write uh, in places like your uh, front page of your website or your Instagram bio or your Twitter bio or your Facebook page about uh, about section, uh, that is crucial because that is the first thing that people see and hear uh, about your ministry. So how do you go about doing that? This is a conversation we have uh, in detail with almost every church and ministry that I work with. And um, uh, I've got a simple, very simple format or a formula uh, that I want to share with you. And this is not a complete solution, but this will give you a much clarity on what to say there, okay? Usually what people do is they talk about what God has called them to do, their vision, uh, their activities and so on, which is great. You know, God has called uh, you to do great things and your vision and purpose is important to uh, come in there. But there also needs to be one more element. How are you going to meet the needs of your audience or the people that God has called you to serve? That has to come in and these two things have to merge. They, they both have to come together in a nice way in those introductory lines. Okay, It's all about what you can do for others. That needs to be there and invariably that's your calling, right? So instead of talking, talking it's basically the same thing. See, God calls you to serve people. Uh, and a certain groups of people, group of people or a kind of people in certain ways, right? We all have that calling, each of us. Now, uh, instead of talking about that from my perspective, all I'm saying is talk about it from your audience perspective. So your perspective, your purpose statement coming together with the need of the audience and bringing those two together will, will beautifully help you structure your introductory line about your ministry. So think about that. That's what I wanted to share with you. Uh, maybe you go back and rewrite it uh, or uh, restate it in a way that, that connects with people. Because many times when you just have your perspective, people may not be able to connect with it, right? Uh, you are excited because that's your calling and you rightfully should be excited about it. But what about others? I mean, they're not looking at it from that angle. They're looking at it from their need, uh, which is again something that is important for you as well. So think about that, I hope. Uh, that will help you restructure your introductory statement. God bless you. I'll see you next week with another thought. Until then, you stay connected, stay blessed, and stay very safe. God bless you. Bye-bye.